Okay guys, we got this 05 Honda Accord right here. And uh, they said that it had an EVAP fault code. Let me uh, scan the license plate real quick here. We'll see what codes it says. There we go. Let's get our mileage. How many miles are on this thing? 124,000. I think we save everything. There we go. So now let's see what codes we got here. Let's see. I'm only worried about these. Okay, so there's there's uh, four codes. P0497 EVAP system low purge flow detected and P0455 large leak. So let's clear these codes. Oops. Let's clear it. Let's do a quick erase. I don't know how quick this is going to be. I guess it should, shouldn't be too bad because I had to like try to scan all these modules. These old Hondas are so slow to scan with the Altel. I'm wondering if we got a purge valve problem. Okay, let's go to active tests. I wonder if there's a command for the purge valve or something we can do. Let's see, purge. Hmm. EVAP test? I missed that. Let's do single solenoid. Oh, can we function test? Hmm. Uh, let's see, let's go remove the fuel cap. Where's our... Remove this. Let's see if we hear anything. Nope. So that's good. Okay. This will run the EVAP test. Wonder if maybe we should pop the hood while this is doing this. And we can see if our purge is actually purging. This I just wanted to zero it, make sure it wasn't like stuck. It's very rare that I see a car that actually has pressure or anything. Let's see. Okay. Maybe I should switch off. On. Start engine. Oh, once the engine temperature at 81 degrees Celsius. You hold the uh, 
These Hondas warm up really quickly. So I don't know, I'll see if it it'll probably have probably fail. We might have to go back into it. Yeah, warm up failed. Let's go back in here. Oops. Let's see. We'll be able to warm it up this time. It's weird that they don't tell you to hold the RPM. Almost every time Honda will tell you to hold the RPM at like 3,000 RPMs. Except this time. We got 10 degrees to go. Fuel tank pressure sensor. Look at that EVAP duty cycle. Huh, I don't know, it would take 15 minutes. Oh, now it's purging. So right now our fuel trim should be changing if we could look at them while it's purging. I guess we can pop the hood in here if it's clicking. It may fail right here. It's going up to 20%.
Oh, this is a V6. Look at that, we're up to 30%. Where is it? Is that new? I don't hear it clicking. Oh. I just pushed on it and it started clicking. Now yeah, it's clicking. Look at that, we're at 50%. That shit. Get our pressure. Our pressure went down to 2.45. So now it'll probably end up closing the vent valve on one of these, and then it'll pull the tank into a vacuum. Well, now we hear it. Um, we can check the pin tension once this is all done. Let's see if it's a pin tension issue. I just want to see if it. They should command it to close. I don't know what step that would be. I'm surprised it goes at the 50% duty cycle. A lot of cars won't even drive right at 50% duty cycle. It's either that or it was a coincidence when I touched it that this purge valve isn't responding to the pulsing. Well, it's 12.30 right here a.m., so I'm going to shut this off recording while this is doing this, and when it changes to the next mode, I will uh, start recording again because I don't want you guys to sit here, but you can see the time. Let's see it right there, 12.31. Okay, guys, so it's, it's uh, 12.36. It went to stage four, and then it said stop sequence. Please wait. big leak okay that's awesome okay so let's go to multi solenoid let's see let's turn these both on So our tank should be pulled into a vacuum right now. And it's not. Because our purge solenoid is at 20%. Let's see. So we have nothing right now. There's nothing. Let me get a vacuum gauge out real quick. Okay guys, so I got my vacuum gauge hooked up here. And you can see, we're not moving. It's not purging. And it says it's commanded at 20% duty cycle right now. I can pull a vacuum on this. So if I pump this, you can see I pulled a vacuum. Um, I don't see anything there. I'm gonna get some probes. Let's go in my messy van. Let's grab some probes. We'll uh, oops. We'll check our purge. Let's see if we can check this real quick. Look at that. 
we are flickering. So you know what that means? Bad purge. Still no purging. Like I said, look at that. Um, we can go to a bigger light too, put more of a load on it. Let's see. Do I have another light here? I thought I had like a 3157 here or something. So I get this van done and organized. The trans went in my truck because I've been using this thing. Uh, don't really want to use a headlight bulb because the headlight bulb might pull too much current. It might be the only thing that I have though. Uh, we can try it, I guess. See if it flickers. Oh, look at that. So, how's our circuit, guys? We can light a headlight bulb, and it flickers. So our circuit's good. Our problems are purge. Got a bad purge valve. So I'll get this stuff cleaned up here. I'll let them know. We got a bad purge valve. That's all it is. It's not. It's just been a bad one. Um. Well, like I said too. Check these terminals just to make sure. There we go. We'll just grab our test light back. Make sure. Let's see if I can show you guys this. There you go. Look at that. I used the AES Wave U test kit. Boom. It's flickering. So, our problem is here's the U test kit. Has all these different probes. So I hope you guys like this. Bad purge drop. See you guys later.